And this is just basically a CD. Turner, you look well. Uh, so do you. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually Joe Cruz. Okay, he's, he's talking about some health reforms. Okay. Not health reforms, but just reforms in the church. Reading from the spirit of prophecy. Okay. okay? So, you know, that's something you can listen to just to get some, you know, an idea. You know, because, uh, you know, they put us out of this church. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, but they put us out not for any good reason, you know. Okay. I mean, uh, we don't have a church. So we're not trying to take anybody to out of, out of God's church. This is God's church. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's not Babylon. It's God's church. Right. All right. Uh, so we don't have a church we're taking anybody to. But they're trying to say we're t trying to take people out of the church. Okay. okay. All right. But all, all we're doing is trying to make people aware of judgment. Okay. You know, we, 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 we know that we, we're in a time of the investigative judgment. Right. right? Okay. Well, and it's going to pass from the, living, from, from the dead to the living. Right. Okay. Right. And I know, I know I've talked to you before, and you and I have never had a chance to sit down. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping we get that opportunity. You okay. Know? So, I mean, in, in that one book there, you, I think you have my number before, but uh, it, has, it has my contact information in this book right here. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, like I said, you know, we never had a chance to sit down before, uh, but, uh, you know, the invitation is still open. Okay. All right. I'll give you a call. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, I don't know if you, you know we were here uh, in the summer? Yeah. We're doing the same thing? Yeah, I remember. Oh, oh you saw <laughs> us? Oh, did you see yeah. the, Did you see the YouTube video? No. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. There was a YouTube video that we put that we put on online. All right. So we'll probably be putting this online as well. All you know? right. So uh, I hope I hear from you. Okay. Sooner the better. All right. I know you sincere. <laughs> I know that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait. How, how's your uh, your your other brother? Your older he's brother. He's well. Yeah. Yeah. He should be coming. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. Right. God bless you, man. All Keep right, prayer. Tell Thank your wife you. I said hello. Oh, yeah. Learn not the way of the heathen. One cut up a tree out of the forest. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. What's your name, brother? Philip. Philip. I mean, I, I've seen you here before. I might have known. I might have met you. You know, I know I met you, but I don't know. If, I didn't remember your name. You know. So uh, that's Jeremiah chapter ten, verses two through four. I mean, you've been going here what, fifteen years? Haven't you? Yeah, you were back when the old, when they had the old church. Yeah, about fifteen years. Yeah. I remember you and your little son used to go here. Yeah, yeah well, he's a grown man now, yeah. I'm sure, <laughs> you know. But, uh, so, you know, so we have some literature dealing with Christmas and the, the pagan origins of it. And then, uh, you you heard about the 144,000? And you heard about it in the Bible? Give us a CD, please. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, just, just give you one more piece of literature. Okay, and, a, and a CD that you can listen to, dealing with, basically the CD's dealing with reforms in the church that need to take place, okay? So, uh, you know, uh, and, and one, one, of those, one of those tracks there, it, it, does, it does, let me see the one I gave you, uh, I think it has our contact information. If you want to know more, and study some more and uh, you know learn more about what we believe and where it differs from uh, you know from the church when we hold I mean of course we keep the Sabbath and we believe this is God's church okay but we can't go we can't agree with all everything that they're teaching you know and they, they don't believe in certain reforms like dress reform and health reform you know so uh, as a matter of fact I, I got I got a, one more book I like to give you about health okay you don't mind? Okay. It's called the Entering Wedge. Okay. That's what's going to about health. Alright. So, it's always, we never can do, we never can, uh, you know, learn enough about our health. You know, health is very important. Without health, you know, we don't have anything. But look, I, I see you want to get up to the church. You know, I know y'all have a communion today, you know. But you didn't know we had got put out? Mm -mm. Yeah? Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, they did it secretly. You know, they didn't tell everybody, evidently. You know, so uh, you know we. Uh, you 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 notice she's filming, right? Yeah. 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 We're probably going to put this on YouTube. Yeah, you ever watch YouTube? Very now, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we we'd want to share what we what we're doing out here with some of the other brethren around the world. You know, because. Uh, you, you, we, we understand that the judgment is going on, the judgment, and it's about to pass from the dead to the living. You know, so, uh, you know, we, we want to make sure we're following Jesus all the way. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you have a good day. I like this coat. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Sabbath, brother. Keep, keep, keep your dough bones warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, brother, you have a good day. Let me read that sign right there again. We are quoting Jeremiah chapter 10, which is basically the theme of our protest today. We just had an interview with the organ player of the church who, uh, who has made it clear where his stand is on this particular subject, which is Christmas. Uh, we, we're, we're holding, I'm holding the flag here of God's eternal kingdom which will be the final flag that will control this, this world after the United States goes off the scene or collapses because of national ruin, because of their uh, exaltation of, a, of the image to the beast, which Revelation chapter 13 predicts. But uh, the, uh, the scripture that we, that we have highlighted today is Jeremiah 10 verses 2 through 4. Learn not the way of the heathen. One cutteth a tree out of the forest. They deck it with silver and with gold. This is the brother who didn't want to be filmed last time, but he's back today. Amen. There you go, brother. You want to, you want to learn the truth about Christmas? I already know about Jeremiah 10. Okay. We don't celebrate Christmas. We know Christ wasn't born today. I couldn't hear you. We know Christ was the born on this month. All right, come and come and talk to us. No. Don't be afraid. Satan is all the confusion. Don't be afraid. Another brother who's, who's who uh, who has uh, expressed his. Uh, knowledge or his uh, concern about Christmas, but he's afraid to be interviewed, afraid to talk. So the scripture that we were quoting, learn not to wear the heathen, one cutteth a tree out of the forest, they deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers. This is obviously describing the tradition that has been carried on since Sometime in B.C., because Jeremiah was written before Christ, this tradition, this heathen tradition, has come down to us all the way back before Christ was born. And it still, has, it still is prevalent in this country. And not only in this country, but in our church, the Seventh-day Adventist Church. You'll find Christmas trees, uh, the, the reef shaped in a circle, which is another representation of the sun, and all the different holly, all those symbols, the green and the red, all representations of pagan, of pagan origin. So we're just standing out here today, trying to bring our brethren attention to the truth so they don't they don't want to be caught up in this money grabbing 
false holiday. So, we have another sister who just pulled in, matter of fact, a Bayesian Davidian. Uh, so, once again, we praise the Lord that uh, we have the opportunity to share this truth with his people. And we know that uh, uh, this is the extra oil for the wise virgins. And that soon the bridegroom will come and those without the extra oil, the foolish virgins, will not be able, be able to enter the marriage supper. That's unfortunate because the extra oil has been available for many years now, but they have neglected so great a salvation. So we thank God that he has given us the opportunity and we've taken advantage of it. Another brother pulling into the church. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, Pastor Miles, happy Sabbath. How about you? All right. Man, you got that bright red shirt on. It's beautiful. This is our special communion Sabbath. You inviting us in for communion? No, sir. Oh, you're not inviting us in for communion? No, no. It's a closed communion. No, it's just closed to you. Closed to us? Yeah, closed to you because you don't want to follow the guidelines that we set up. We don't want to follow the guidelines. Yes. Yeah. What guidelines are you referring to? Those that the Bible? We, those that we outline in Adventist church. Mm -hmm. uh, like and, what? And uh, well, for example, you have to cooperate with our what we say when you come oh, in. I got to. Well, what 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 is what is it that I haven't cooperated with? Well, you were disruptive. You How? The doors when we came and you came in, and that is very dangerous. So we had to withdraw. Come on down, bro. We had to withdraw your weapon. I turn them. You lock doors. I lock doors. Why would I lock doors? You know, you you, you really you, you you promoted that uh, that that falsehood the last time we were here, and you know, and and I don't know where that came from well, well, about bro, us locking doors. That that's, well, uh, that's, I'm not going to go through that. That's you. ridiculous. I mean, it's it's well. I mean, okay. did you verify? Did you see me lock doors? One of the things that I'll say is that there are other churches. Did you see me lock doors? To did you see me lock any doors? May have a merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. God bless. Well, that's why we are here really to talk about the pagan the heathenism of, of Christmas. Okay. So I see you you still celebrating that a pagan holiday? Well, it, we, we don't know when exactly Christ was born. But you're still celebrating he, the 25th. He was, he was born. But he, but so you're doing the 25th. We like the world, like the rest of the world. We celebrate every day, sir. Right, right. God bless you. Chris Christmas. Okay, bro. Take care. You take care too. So once again, we see uh, the pastor of this church is still promoting falsehood, referring to something someone told him or whatever about us locking doors, which I don't can't see why we would lock any doors. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, and out of his own mouth, he celebrated, he said, Merry Christmas. So we can see that the reason why we're out here, we can see why we're out here now to, uh, expose how the church continues to ignore God's word and continues to uh, promote heathenism as we're reading in the spirit of prophecy which is apostasy and he never could give me uh, what I needed to do to get back into the church because it was nothing that I did to really get put out except uh, talk about God's word, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. So, uh, okay. All right, just as we have witnessed with the pastor, we can see that this sign that Sister White wrote, the 
most prevalent today, where she says, even Seventh-day Adventists are in danger of closing their eyes to truth as it is in Jesus. And we have witnessed that today from the leading pastor of this church. Once again, there's our beloved Serenity Seventh-day Adventist Church. And as the pastor said, he hasn't given us, he wouldn't invite us in to participate in the communion for no good reason. But one day, every mountain shall be brought low and every valley shall be exalted. Things won't always be this way. God will rescue his people from the hirelings, those who care not for the sheep. But this is still God's church, and we still love it, and we love his people. But we realize that the wheat and the tares must grow together until the harvest. So we have another sister coming in. So we, uh, we pray that, uh, that there will be some who will take heed to the literature that they receive today and that they will inquire for more. We thank you for viewing this video today. And we look forward to our next siege. In Jesus' name.